guys, this week we're going to talk about um, lesson five and six. And lesson five is, um, it's pretty easy. There's nothing too difficult about it. Um, it's going to start off with a lot of writing. So I went ahead and just wrote all the identities down. Um, the main thing that I want you to notice is we're starting with those same identities that we um, learned last week. So like the sign um, addition identity. And so this is nothing new. But we are just letting um, alpha and beta be the same thing. So then it becomes two alpha. And then when I replace all the Bs, I come up with this formula. So this is where that double angle um, identity comes from. Um, something else I want to point out is that there's one um, sine identity. There is one tangent identity. But there are three cosine identities. Um, and so it kind of depends on, we're going to see this, um, especially like in the homework, like what identity we want that will best serve our purposes. So sometimes like we might want this one when other times we might want this one. So what, what I want you to do is I'm going to kind of slowly go through this. Um, you're going to have to push pause and um, just kind of copy down all this. And then we'll come back and kind of put these put these to uh, good use. Okay, so we just copied down all those identities, which probably took you forever. So I want you to look through the identities and um, look at the way this is set up and which identity does it look closest to. So let's go up here. We've got two sine of some angle, cosine of some angle. So let's go up here and see um, that it would probably, let me change my color here, um, it's probably going to be this one. So two sine of an angle, cosine of an angle. So I know that it's um, the sine of double that angle. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say, okay, well, it's the sine of two times n. And so it's just the sine of 20. So I can't go any further with the sine of 20. Um, I'm just kind of stuck there, but it, let's pretend like this were the sign of like 30 degrees or 45 or 60. Then I would take that further and find an actual value for it. Okay, so let's do the same thing with this. I have cosine squared 15 minus sine squared 15. So we're going to look up, go ahead and take the time to look up there and see which one it is. So if you'll notice, it's one of the cosine ones. So it's going to be the cosine of 2 times theta. In this case, it's 15 or alpha or whatever. And um, so it's going to be the cosine of 30 degrees. Well, now I can do, I know what the cosine of 30 degrees is. That is the square root of 3 over 2. So I can take that one all the way. Okay, so um, there are, um, let's see, three more here. So go ahead and go through those, and um, I think these are pretty straightforward. You just use the formulas to kind of figure out which one you need. Um, you'll be able to use the formulas on your test, so it's pretty much plug and play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill these out. So push pause and go through them um, slowly, and then um, when you're ready, come back and, and we'll go through these together. Okay, so um, we've done three more here. And we're just kind of going through here, and I'm really looking for um, just the format here. And that's one of the cosine identities. And so I'm just multiplying, like I'm, I'm identifying my angle there is 35, and I'm just multiplying that by 2. Um, same thing here. I'm finding the format. I see that my angle is 25, so I'm just saying 2 times 25. And here, this one's pretty straightforward because tangent's the only one um, like, like that. Um, so just identify the angle, 2 times 50 is 100. Okay, um, so on the next page, there's really nothing different. Just um, keep it going, and we'll come back and talk about them. Um, before you get too far, I just realized, like, this isn't using numbers. It's using variables. I didn't want you to kind of get freaked out by that. So, like, I'll, I'll use this one, for example. So I knew that this is one of the um, cosine identities. And so instead of the alpha, I just plugged in the X for that. So that's all you're doing there. So go ahead and finish up the rest, and we'll come back and check them. So let's look at the last four. Um, so again, the big thing is just identifying, um, is it sine, cosine, or tangent? And um, 
like what your what we're replacing alpha for, and that's it on that one. Um, this one we replace alpha with um, five theta, so that's ten theta. It kind of looks like one hundred. Um, this one our alpha was one hundred fifty seven point five, and it was tangent. And then this one, be careful, it just kind of looks weird. Um, but still, like you're just multiplying two times the angle, um, which is pi over six. And then I noticed that pi over 6 was 30 degrees, so I kind of took a little bit further. Okay, um, the next part, we're going to go into kind of what we did um, last week, where we're going to have to find those triangles, um, but this this week we're applying um, the double angle identities instead of like the sum identities. Um, so I think I want to start off with, I noticed that it's between 0 and pi over 2, so I know that it's in the first quadrant. And um, it tells me that, um, that my sign is 3 fifths. So I'm going to set up like that. So it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's a Pythagorean triple. So that middle or that last, the missing um, side is 4. Okay, so um, I, I like to go ahead and, and just like fill in everything. So I know that this was already given to us, but that's okay. Um, cosine. It's orifice and tangent is going to be three fourths. Okay, I'd like to have that information before I go ahead and get started. So we're going to um, find the sine of 2u. And so remember that formula is 2 um, sine of u, cosine of u. Well, I know, or let me write this up here. So that's what we're trying to find. Okay, so I know that the sine of u is 3 fifths and the cosine of u is 4 fifths. And so I'm just going to multiply everything together. Let's see, 3 times 4 times 2, that's 24 over 25. Um, so on the cosine, it really doesn't matter which one you use. That's totally up to you. So we're going to do cosine of 2u. Um, I'll just use this one. Um, so cosine squared, let's see, it's right here, 4 fifths squared, and then 3 fifths squared. So we have 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25 equals 7 over 25. And just to let you know, like it doesn't matter which one of the three cosine um, identities that you choose, you're all gonna and they're all gonna end up with the same answer if you did it correctly. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, and then finally, um, tangent of two u. I'm just gonna plug it into the formula. And then I'm gonna substitute, let's see what was tangent three-fourths um, so this is six-fourths which is three halves and this is one minus nine sixteenths Ugh, I don't like this um, so sixteen minus nine is seven over sixteen Three halves. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this divided by this. So when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. So three halves times 16 over 7. So let me do this in a different color. Um, that cancels out to 8. So I have 24 sevenths. Okay, and then for the last part, um, we're going to be just identifying identities. And so um, I think the first thing that I want to do is uh, factor that and kind of see what happens. So I have cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals cosine of 2x. Okay, well, as you'll recall, um, this is 
that uh, the mama Pythagorean identity that we talked about at the very, very beginning of unit five. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, that's one. And then this, if you look at the identities, that's one of the cosine identities, the double angle cosine identities. So this one is pretty straightforward. We are done. Okay, so I think I want you to try these two on your own, um, just to kind of wrap your mind around it, and then I will come back and um, we'll go over the answers. Okay, so um, here are the, um, the last two. So on this one, I saw that sine squared um, x plus cosine squared x equals one, and I recognize that that was um, the sine double angle identity. So that one is pretty straightforward. Um, this one, okay, so I knew that my goal was I wanted it to be tangent. So this is literally what I was trying to figure out when I was um, trying to figure out like which cosine identity to use. So I knew that I wanted sine um, squared on top. So that's the only reason why I went this route. Like that is the reason. So just kind of think about that um, when you have problems like that. Um, but that is it. That's the last thing that we're going to do. Um, for this lesson. Thanks a lot.